It's a goal! Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Um, this should be quite a little short one actually. I just got back from work and some cards come through the post for me. Um, I had some cards come yesterday as well. Um, but I already opened them up, but I thought I'd show you on camera and see what I've got. So first off, I've got some stuff in the post. So I've got a uh, Vault X uh, semi-rigid cards, uh, sleeve holders, sorry. So these are basically the semi-rigid semi, one, semi ones that you send to grading companies. Um, so I have a lot of problems with these ones where it's just a struggle to get the card into the actual, um, into the holder without bending the card or wrecking the card. But these ones, these Vault X ones are perfect. I've got a few of those. Cool, so let's have a look and see what I've got. So, Legends and Insurer sticker. This is from the Panini 2020 Premier League set. Um, and I got a free Simon Kajer, how you pronounce it. I used to protect the sticker. So yeah, this sticker is one of the Legends ones. I think there is uh, Zola, Ginola, what his name is. Um, oh, his name is. Can't believe what I've got. What his name is? Um, David Beckham. I think there is a German player, Terry Henry's on there as well. Wayne Rooney's on it, and that's also Alan Shearer. So yeah, there's a handful of them. I just didn't have Shearer. Shearer is the last one I needed from that lot. Um, then I picked up a Jack Grealish match tax. Um, these are all coming out of, I believe, the um, Chrome boxes. I didn't buy a Chrome box, I'm not going to pay the silly amount of money it costs, I think it's stupid because end of the day, if you want some players, just pick them up on eBay for cheaper, you know what I mean? Spend your money on, on the um, on the cards. Yeah, you might be able to pay, pay, you pull out a signed card or something really nice, but chances are um, you're not going to. So this one here is limited, this is 225, two, sorry 226, two, out of 299. So yeah, I just wanted to get one in my collection. When it comes to Jack Greenish cards, I collect everything here, pretty much everything, but I don't like to go down the whole numbered route with um, you know, like red parallels and green parallels and gold parallels because I'm one of ones. Because it's just, it's too much money. It's just exploiting basically collectors in my opinion. I'm more about just the card and the image. I mean, and I think it looks good. No, I've just opened these up, but I haven't had a look yet. I ordered a massive pile cards I basically saw them on eBay for such a cheap price that I was like well one of those one or two of those cards will pay for the lot but it all depends on conditions so let's have a look and see what we've got on this pile we have first up a Billy McNeil for Celtic and Scotland this is the Nabisco um, food cards by the way then we have Dennis Law that's a cool one that's gonna stay in my collection shame about that damage at the top corner um, these cards are not too hard to get hold of. I've I've got a few um a few George Best ones in my collection. Um, Mike Summerby, from Man City. Peter Bonet, is it Bonet Bonatelli, what's called? Bonetti, that's his name. Chelsea. Is it? It's Emlyn Hughes for Liverpool. Maybe a Billy Bremner for Leeds. We are blessed with another one. But unfortunately, it's got ink stain at the top. Another Dennis Law card. Greatest keeper ever for England. Gordon Banks. So good. He appears twice. Then, uh, you know, this is the sort of my reason why these these cards, um, I think I, I, I need to look at what much I paid. I think it was less than 20 quid. I think it was like 15 pounds, including the postage. Because then we have a Bobby Charlton, and this is quite nice. Yeah, it's got a few dings at the bottom and stuff. But it feels really nice and presents really well. It's off center, but um, yeah, when I, do, when I don't think I have, so that's nice. Peter Thompson for Liverpool. Mike Summerby again. England 66, Roger Hunt in playing for Liverpool.
John Gregg for um, Glasgow Ridges. Put him up there. So next up is his brother, Jack Charlton. Jackie Charlton. See, it's, it's spelled Jackie there, so I always known him as Jackie Charlton, but everybody I know calls him Jack Charlton, and I was always a bit confused. I thought maybe I just got it wrong, or my granddad's a big football fan, or was, um, and he used to um, tell me about all these old players, and he always called him Jackie Charlton. There you go, it is Jackie Charlton. More evidence to prove them right. I don't know whether, whether he prefers it or not. And then Ron Davis for Southampton. And last but not least, the main man himself, George Best, Man United and Northern Ireland. Yeah, so this card on its own is worth the set. I mean, I would say George Best has a very limited amount of cards. If you look at um, his first card is the Barrett card, it goes for a ridiculous amount of money now, thousands. The other cards he's got is like the 50, 67, 68 and 68, 69 A and B, C cards. There's the odd sticker and some far and stuff, but there's pretty much not not much of him during the early days. So I think these sort of cards are a pretty good investment. If that's your thing. Or if you want to collect George Best cards, start buying them now because the prices are going to go up and you can't afford it, unfortunately. So last but not least, actually, no, 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 we've got something else in the post. don't know if I've already showed this off, but it's a rookie of Saka. It's, I don't know if it counts as a real rookie, really, because it, it, it gets come out in 2022 when he's been playing for, like, forever. But, yeah, it's his first ever World Cup card, I suppose, sticker. Now, the last thing I've got, which is, I think is so cool, and it came in a massive box. Um, this is a rookie card. If you go on the trading card database, there's another card in place. But if that, but that card definitely is not the rookie. Um, it's just been labelled wrong, which is what really annoys me about some people when they label date stuff. It's dated 1940, which would put this car, this person at eight years old, when they achieved their first rookie card, which is not not right. This is a um, probably the first time ever on the channel actually a boxing card. This is a AMBC chewing gum Henry Cooper rookie card. It's playing back and I think this is all pretty boring but the card's really nice it's got age obviously so it's it's you know it's not gonna be considered high grade but it's not bad and I paid like four pound for this which to me blew my mind I mean Henry Cooper you know had a, a couple I think a couple of bouts with Muhammad Ali back in the what I think 63 so you would have thought that this card would be worth way more than it was but I just couldn't believe it. Nobody else bid on it. I bid on it and won it. Really, really cool. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably going to keep it in my collection for a while. Sadly, you passed, I think, a few years back. But I do think boxing is a bit, especially British boxing, is a bit of an untapped sort of um, honeypot, really. I think people need to start thinking about these sort of cards because. Boxing has a lot of um, money in merchandising. There's a lot of people that have boxing memorabilia on display. I would say even more so really than football. You see people with obviously things like badges and mugs with football on, but when you see like boxing, they have like gloves in cases signed by big, you know, famous boxers. They have all that sort of stuff. And I think there is definitely money there, definitely a um, potential purchasers, you know, of these things. So. I think these cards, once soon as people realise what they are, they're going to go up in price. And whilst I don't try to you know, offer investment advice at all, and whilst investment is not really my thing, um, reasoning for collecting, it's one of those things where you have to start thinking about price of cards because if you if you wait too long, they will go up in price. All these cards that we see in front of us, not all of them, but most, most of them, uh, might potentially shoot up in price. The George Best is probably... Bobby John, maybe Jackie John, maybe the Saka rookie, and the the Greenish, if, if they win the World Cup or something, or qualify high again, it's going to go up again, and it's going to jump. And when these jumps happen, it means that you are then priced out of potentially purchasing it. So if it's something you want to collect, I will say, try and get it now. Make yourself a list 
of um, your favourite players and favourite cards and go for it now. Be patient still. You can have a bit of patience, but, you know, the big cards, try and buy them now. So um, my mail days have been quite um, small recently. I usually, you know me, I usually get like seven or eight cards at least or seven or eight packages of cards or stickers. Um, but I, this month I've really been trying to like hold off and try and get some big cards. Um, I say big cards, but I mean cards in like the £150, £200 range um, rather than spending that amount of money throughout the whole month. Um, I bid on a Bobby Moore A and B C rookie card. And unfortunately, I was winning for days, and then my bid was quite high, and then I lost out by one pound fifty or something, which is demoralising, really demoralising. But you know, I know I know roughly what it sells for next time. I'll be prepared. So it's those sort of things, you know. I'm rather, I'm rather going to be. I want to collect things that I really, really want now, and I want to get you know displayed well. Uh, that's my plan. So, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you stay safe. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Leave a comment in which, which card you think is your favourite. I think my favourite is going to have to be the Henry Cooper rookie card. It's such a lovely little thing. Um, it's nice to have Jackie and Bobby together as well. It's quite cool. Yeah, leave a comment. That'd be great. And I hope you have a great weekend. Happy hunting and stay safe.